no one is talking um, honestly about uh, about Iraq. Um, and it's very, very hard to say what our responsibilities are given the unholy, or maybe it's holy, mess that we have created um, in, uh, in Iraq. Um, we need to shout, help. We need to ask for help um, from the Europeans. We need to open negotiations with the Iranians. We need to be talking to the Turks. Um, but, um, and we need to be um, planning um, our own disengagement. But any, any politician, any democratic politician who claims that we're going to withdraw from Iraq in the near future is just lying to the American people because um, the Kurds don't want us to withdraw, the Sunni chiefs don't want us to withdraw, the Shiite government doesn't want us to withdraw, the Saudis, the Kuwaitis, the Jordanians, the Egyptians, the Israelis, and the Turks don't want us to withdraw. And all of those allies of the United States in the Middle East are very much afraid of anything that looks like a defeat for the United States. And a withdrawal on the schedule that has been proposed by Obama and Clinton, I suppose, although they've given themselves a lot of loopholes, but withdrawal on that schedule would be a defeat. In fact, it, would, it might be a rout. And, um, and so nobody is going to do that. Um, and how to plan a disengagement, because we, we have to get out, how to plan a disengagement that doesn't, that doesn't leave everyone that we have worked with in the Middle East um, crying, how to do that is enormously difficult, and none of the candidates are talking honestly about those difficulties.